The New Orleans Narrow House, or as I like to call it, the Skinny House. This was an interesting pilot project and case study for us to think about how we might use otherwise impossible sites. It is a very modest budget and clearly a young starter family, if you will, who took the leap and had the guts to buy a very, very small piece of land and somehow figure out a way to make themselves a dream home. And to some extent, you could say that this is really an illustration of the American dream, where you take almost nothing and you really create something out of it. Hey Thomas, welcome to New Orleans. Thanks Sabri, great to be here in the Lower Garden District. What a cool place you have here. Tell me, how did you find this really unique piece of property? So my wife and I own an architecture and design firm. We knew we wanted to build a new house. So we were looking and looking. Lots are hard to come by in New Orleans. This one came to market. It looked more like where you'd park an RV than where you'd park a house. But we thought it would be a fun challenge, so we went for it. It is really skinny. What's the waistline on this? 18 and a half feet wide, and it gets even narrower about halfway back. Holy smokes. And then you had to set back from the neighbors, I assume. Exactly. Three foot setbacks on both sides. So the house is only 12 and a half feet wide. Wow, that's skinny. And what about in the front? So the front, we set it back about 10 feet, and that gave us the front porch and the front planter, which are really common things in New Orleans. I see that. Your neighbors have very similar kinds of porches, although I know this is a historic district, so how did you fit into that vernacular? Right, it is a historic district, but they don't prescribe a certain style, so we were able to do a slightly more modern home. And, but the way we fit in was with the proportions of the windows and the siding and the front balcony and the front porch. It's really inviting. So what's so interesting, Sabri, is we came in the front door, but it's actually on the side of your house. Exactly. We have a front door on the side of the house. And the main thing that did was let us be really efficient with the space planning down here and not take up whole parts of the house with corridors. Interesting. And what did you put on the first floor here? So on this floor is the primary bedroom at the front of the house, the kids' bedroom all the way at the back. And you can see from front to back. And we have two and a half bathrooms and a pretty big utility closet. Very smart planning, especially in 1,600 square feet. But what's really cool is this beautiful wooden stair that's leading me up. And I'm going to go check it out. So Carolyn, I hear you're the person I need to talk to about the inside. That's right. Yes, I'm in charge of the interiors with our practice, whereas Sabri's in charge of architecture. I see. Well, well done here, especially in this double height space that the stair is in. I love that. Thank you. I wanted to make sure that when we invite guests into our home, it feels gracious and welcoming rather than entering into a really cramped tiny house. So the double height space really helped draw you upstairs to this light filled living dining room kitchen. And it's really light filled. That really drew me up here. Beautiful views, wonderful natural light. Yes, these great Marvin windows allow light to flood this space all throughout the day and you have great views to this beautiful city. Now what I noticed as well is that you kept this floor very, very open. How did you do that? With this being such a narrow, tall house, the structural engineers really wanted sheer walls. Sheer walls as in perpendicular walls to keep your house from tipping over. Exactly right. But instead of sheer walls, we um, were able to do the steel moment frame. And with steel being such a beautiful material, we exposed it and it also helps create zones without using walls. I can totally see why you decided to flip this house on its head. Yes, from very early on, um, I knew I wanted the living room and dining room, the places where we're spending all of our time, to be full of light and air. Um, and it really does feel like a dream tree house up here. Well, that must be a dream that's come true for you. Congrats. Sabri and Caroline, thank you so much for inviting us into your home and sharing this wonderful, wonderful design and place. What's so amazing is that you two and your team at Faruqi and Faruqi have created something out of what most people would just turn away from. But you have embraced those constraints and you've used design thinking, creativity, ingenuity to design a wonderful place. Congrats. Thank, Thank you. you.